Hi guys, Pavel from Emotivity speaking. In today's video, we have for unboxing this Mac B65 M Mortar Wi-Fi motherboard for AMD Ryzen 7th generation with DDR5 memories. So without further ado, let's go for unboxing. First try to put everything out, if there is anything to put out, expect the motherboard. Yes. Uh, for the Wi-Fi, uh, angled and non-angled uh, SATA connectors. Of course, the stickers, because stickers can make everything better. Next, this is it. It will be very hard to show you, but maybe you will be able to see. This is probably the spare part for uh, the S uh, M.2 uh, SSD drive mounting. Well, if one is broken, you have the another one. Perfect. Good move, MSI. Good move. European Union regulatory notice, you will never read it, and quick installation, perfect, nothing important. And and the second spare part for uh, removal of, or for spare part for uh, M.2 SSDs, because of course you have two of them, so if you both, both of them, you need to have two for repairs. Just perfect. Maybe we will come back to the box later, but who knows. Mm, cables not that interested. Stickers. Yeah, I like the MSI stickers. And now the most interesting thing, the motherboard. That sound of new product. Okay. I don't care. Perfect. Check this out. It's absolutely perfect. And I choose this specific motherboard for my next uh, build because I will be a bit limited by the space. And why this motherboard? This motherboard because uh, the theme of the new build will be uh, quite black. So I didn't want uh, more than necessary of the RGB. There is none. So RGB will be on the CPU block and RAM block. Uh, nobody cares about the SSDs. Car will be here under the RGB. Plus maybe the RGB will be on the, hmm, yes, distro plate. But what I love about this motherboard is I don't know if it is uh, just painting or really, eh, it's, it's a painting, but the painting on the aluminum, it looks absolutely amazing and I really love it. Four DDDR5 slots, perfect, what more you want, uh, M5 uh, CPU slot. Just perfect for seventh generation of the Ryzen's. Sixteen uh, X, eight X. I think that this eight, eight, no, four, four X and one X. But ninety nine percent of the users will use only the sixteen F X, which is absolutely fine. Uh, here is one. Uh, M.2 SSDs and here is the second one from the another connectors USB Type-C which is quite useful because newer case has this slot on uh, the front I.O. which is nice to have a slot to where you can put it otherwise you will have to use some kind of a adapter into the PCIe which is uh, useful to have it but to be honest if you buy this kind of a motherboard, 
you quite care about how it looks like and if you have here some kind of not that aesthetic pleasing green PCB uh, without any RGB you will be quite disappointed okay what next do we have a lot of fan, fan headers I would say one two three four five we have five fan headers uh, motherboard is powered by a standard 24 pin and two eight pins which is perfect from the slots on the IOS we have what we have okay uh, two and a half gigabyte uh, LAN connection or internet which is more than enough for almost any use case especially for gaming uh, standard USBs uh, type C if you are willing to use the CPU with integrated graphic cards, you can use uh, HDMI or DisplayPort. Just perfect. And that's from the output. Yes, some audio and Wi Fi. And yes, reset button for the BIOS. Some of them, some of you, maybe will use it. Who knows? And that's from the interesting part about this motherboard probably everything yeah you have four six uh six standard six, six gigabyte uh connections for uh hard drives or ssds and here is uh yeah, addressable rgb and unaddressable rgb header and from the headers that's probably everything from the interesting ones yes I think that yes we can have a look to the back side of the motherboard which is pretty nice too but probably you will never see it again after you place it to your uh, case so it doesn't matter that much or is it no it will not what is quite nice uh, that whole this block as you can see that this heatsink and this plate is a heatsink either so uh, there is a plenty of the heatsink if I can say it like that that's perfect because I am quite suspicious that for this motherboard will be not uh, any uh, CPU block which includes uh, the movesets about around the CPU. So, what is that story? And I would say that about this motherboard, probably everything what I can read from the motherboard itself. You can quickly check what's on the back side of the box. Uh, robust design. Yeah, this PCB is quite tough to bend, so just perfect. Uh, two and a half gig of LAN, as I already mentioned. Uh, Lightning Gen 4, PCIe. So much unnecessary information. You will probably never use it. Uh, DDR5 support just perfect uh, <laughs> USB gen 3.2 perfect uh, possible extension for the Wi-Fi memory boost or normal people probably nothing that interesting CPU support 7 generation AM5 socket expansion slot as I already mentioned huh. <laughs> what? Look, so, uh, you will not be able to see it on the camera, but this, the first one slot, is 16x and it's a full length. But the third slot 
is not a full end uh, in terms of pinout. Only X4 is pinned, but on the motherboard, uh, on the uh, box is written that you have two times PCIe 4 Gen 16X slots. Yeah, it is a 16 slot, but uh, in real, you will be possible to run it only 4x speed. Just take into account. And it's Gen 4. This small one is only PCIe Gen 3.0, but do we really care? Uh, DIMM support up to 6.4 thousand DDR5, more than enough for everything, and <laughs> yeah, that's everything. Nice box, even nicer motherboard. You will see this motherboard on my next build, so I hope that I tell you everything what you need to know about this MSI motherboard and I would like to thank you for your time to watch this video till the end. If you like it, please share, subscribe and give it a like and I hope that I will see you soon with the next one. Have a great day!